Welcome students. In this class, we will be learning about operators that are available in JavaScript. So, to be more specific, in this class, we will be learning about expressions and operators that are available in JavaScript. Now, this is very important because without knowing about expressions and operators, we wouldn't be able to write programs for validations or for decision making and so on and so forth. So the potential for using expression and operators in a code is exponentially high. So with that being said, let me mention to you the list of operators that are available to start off with. So we got what is called as arithmetic operator. Probably we can use the word operators. And when I say arithmetic operators, we use plus, minus, multiplication, and division. Now these are the four arithmetic operators that are present. But along with these arithmetic operators, there are operators which use arithmetic operators and they are also utilized in carrying out certain level of operations. So what I would do is I would not specify those operators over here but under a different section because that would give you a better understanding. Now having mentioned this, uh, let me just move on. Now the next one is what is called as assignment operator. Now I just mentioned to you that there are certain operators which make use of arithmetic operators also into their general operational capability. In that sphere, assignment operators are ruling the top. Now what does that just mean? The meaning is usually when I say equal to this is an assignment operator. Now this same assignment operator can also be used in conjunction with an arithmetic operator in this fashion or in this fashion. So there is a plus and a equal to and a minus and a equal to. Now you will learn how to use them as we move up. Now the fourth one is what is called a string operator. I will give you illustrations of these things once I am done with this explanation. And after the string operators, we have what is called as comparison operator. Now I'm going to, as I mentioned to you, all of these things, they need illustrations. If not, it's difficult. Next to comparison is called as logical operators. And then you have what is called as type operators. And to type, later to type operators, you've got what is called as conditional operator. Now this conditional operator is also called a ternary operator. That's another name. And then you got a very important operator called as relational operators. So for today's class, we will be seeing illustrations of each one of these. So what I would do is I will just copy this up and I'll take them out and I'll start with the exclamation mark so that I can have HTML page. And then I will change the title and then I say understanding and operators in JS. And then I would want to give the comment statement and place in all the things which I have just mentioned so that you can use it for reference. Now, after this, I want to give a CSS file link. So I'll say link rel is equal to style sheet. And then I will say type is equal to text slash CSS. And then give the uh, href CSS slash style2. Okay, now having mentioned this, uh, let us start off with the program. Now, I would like to start with the script. And I will first show you 
how exactly we can perform an addition. I'm not going to be designing or receiving input from the user. So directly I will be executing it and I'm going to show you that. So if I take x is equal to say 71, this is an integer and you can say instead of saying let I'm going to use variable and then where y is equal to 21 and then I'm going to say I can also I as I mentioned to you I can either use let var let or var pb equal to x positive y so make sure to give a space and then I'm going to say document dot write z and then I'm going to save this and let me just go back to the browser I'm going to open this so you can clearly see the output the output is 92 let me show you the code the code is 71 positive 21 so clearly we are able to add it now please bear in mind that the 92 is an accepted value now we have not received the input from the user so that's why there isn't any requirement for us to use parseint or parse flow now let us go back to the code now I'm going to give another variable I'm going to say multiply x with y and then I would say z1 and then I will give a I will want to type z1 out I, I meaning I would want to print z1 out so over here you refresh it you see that you get you get the output there the only thing is that I'm not able to give a break there now if you want it to look a little bit better because the output is directly getting printed so a JavaScript calculates it directly like that and gets things displayed so probably just for the sake of this illustration I will comment this out and I will get the output printed because we don't want to make this more decorative thereby we will have to utilize more amount of time so in the interest of time I would just comment it so clearly 71 times 21 is multiplied so I will just comment this up and then I will copy this and I want to know what happens when x is divided by y let me just first uh, show that to you so z2 I will copy this and then I will paste this so this is going to be z2 so now I'm saving it I'm going back to the browser and I'm running it so I'm getting a float here you see that that's purely acceptable now if you want to know what happens or in other words is the calculation truly correct maybe you can just use a calculator if not what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 2 and I'm going to change this to 70 so 70 divided by 2 would give us 35 so I'm going to show you that you see that 35 that's uh, that's fine so let me go back now and let me just perform a subtraction and show you that that's fine right 70 negative 2 gives me 68 so that is accepted so I have performed addition subtraction and uh, probably I will just uh, perform division also so uh, z3 I'm going to take the z3 so z3 is x divided by y and then I will print z3 out z3 is printed here yeah. I will comment this and save it I'm refreshing it so that's fine so this illustration we have demonstrated all of the operators that are classified as arithmetic operators now let us go to the second section or the second heading assignment operators so what exactly the assignment operator means now instead of you can clearly see here I have assigned x to be equal to 70 this is what is called as an assignment operator 
I have taken y to be equal to 2. This is an assignment operator, right? Now, there is one thing I've just shown you. Say plus and equal to. Now, let me just give the demonstration here. Now, let me comment this off. Now, if I were to say z, or instead of saying z, I'm going to say x plus x plus y. I'm going to say it like this. So if you want to use x is equal to, or in other words, x plus equal to y, then I should, because this is actually an operation that has been carried out. We cannot use where there, where no assignment is taking place. Now, what is the meaning of this? The meaning is, when I say x plus equal to y, I'm actually calculating x is equal to x plus y. This is exactly what I'm doing here. So in this case, 70 out of the 2, I can clearly say document document dot write is x. So if I were to say that and go and refresh the browser, I would get 72. So let's just do that. You see that? 72. Now on the contrary, if you want this to be replaced, say let me just show you this x minus equal to y it means x is equal to x minus y so if I were to print this let me show that to you I got two things so I'm, I just want to comment it and I will save it and then I'll execute it so it says 70 uh, that is because in this case, we are actually adding 70 with 2, 72. Over here, we are taking that 72. From 72, we are taking away 2. So that's the reason we are getting 70. Now, if you were to comment this off, then you will clearly see what is happening. So I go back over here, I refresh it. I will have to get 68. You see that? So this is a good way to understand how exactly this operator functions. So, thank you students. In this class, we learnt about arithmetic operators and then we have learnt about assignment operators. In the next class, we will learn about string operators and comparison operators. Mm -hmm.